it's time to dish with D. That's me. It's gonna rain. It's very murky out. But 33 degrees on my car temperature. It's not gonna get much warmer than that. So I'm not really happy about that. You can see more of me, not more of my head. All right, I'm sick of today. Justified. It's not a song. But I had somebody ask me on a post. It was a post or a video, I don't even remember. About, it was their birthday. And they had cake. And they had saved points for this special meal and treat. But went over anyway. Do I find anything wrong with that? And you know what I'm going to say. It's your stinking birthday. Oh, hell no. No, I don't I don't ever feel guilty about indulging on a holiday or a birthday or an occasion. If you start throwing guilt into your life, you're always going to feel guilty. Don't feel guilty about enjoying yourself. Because we all occasionally overindulge. It's okay to do that. When we start thinking there's something wrong with it, then there's issues. It's your birthday. It's mandatory that you have cake on your birthday. It just is. You know? And sometimes we don't save off enough points. The week it just got away from itself and you weren't able to bank as many points as you wanted. It happens. Does it mean you don't get to enjoy your birthday? No, it means you enjoy your birthday and you're gonna have to suck it up. And it's all right. There's nothing wrong with going over your points occasionally. It just, there, there's nothing wrong with it. And the word like justified, sometimes you have to, um, are we justified in certain things? Like the way we think, like it's my, I feel just like there's people that feel justified. Like I, you know, I kind of like those people a little bit. I don't know. They get a little bit of a fire inside you. Like it's my birthday. I'm yeah, I'm going to eat. I, you know, you gotta have that. I always say, did I have a tie or that? You know, yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to do this because, you know what, I'm a human, I'm alive, I'm breathing, and I want to enjoy my birthday. Or people justify the food that they eat. I mean, you could justify anything you want, quite honestly. You could justify why you don't follow your plan. Well, it was just a really bad week, a lot of things going on, you know, there was a lot of, you know, oh, I, we ate out too many days, and we do you could call them justified reasons some of us call them excuses like we'll take me as I usually try to take myself in my vlog because it's only fair that I focus on myself um, I had a game this week um, could I blame things I you know I, I am I'm sitting there saying I had way too many carbs this week but I really think it's not that I had too many carbs I think I had I just had too many normal carbs, like that, and I'm not trying to, you can say you're trying to justify it. Well, you could say that, but I'm also trying to figure out because I wasn't within my points all week. So I'm just trying to find in, not an excuse, I'm just trying to find like a reason. Because the only thing I came up with that was different this week was the heavy carb load and it's regular carbs it's not light carbs I wasn't eating light bread I was eating you know not I shouldn't say you know I was eating regular like stuff so I just my body's not used to it it's just it, it it's it's just too much especially for so many times a week would your body get used to that load no mine would not it's light versus regular there's a difference. There's a difference why we eat light bread. There's a difference why we eat, you know, light yogurt. There's a reason why we eat light butter. There's a reason why we eat anything that's light because it has less fat and less carbs. And some things will be heavier in sugar and those light things to make up for the fact that there's no taste. But I think for some reason, at least my body processes sugar that it, better than it processes carbs. So I'm not trying to feel justified in my reason. I don't want to be in a person that uses an excuse. And I try not to be because in the end, it doesn't matter. It, and I say this all the time, up a pound, down a pound, up two pounds, down two pounds. If I do the same thing, like I said, my week was pretty, other than the normalish type of carbs I had, was pretty standard. Had my same exercise that I do. 
I might have had a few more steps with the dog, but that's not gonna do, that's not hardcore exercise. I do not do hardcore. You know, I walk, I get my steps in, that's all I do. And that's all I'm probably ever going to do because that's just, you know, I can probably get that in, truthfully. And know what I found out? And I'm gonna like, I'm gonna blow your mind with this because it blew my mind when I really thought about it. I have an Apple Watch and you have like a exercise, you have rings that, that they want you to close. There's a move ring, there's a stand ring, there's an exercise ring. Well, your move ring, the more steps you get closes that. The exercise, you have to do it at 30 minutes with that little dude on in the other part of the app. And the stand ring is just standing. Well, most times my stand ring, with work, I'm standing. So that ring usually closes nine times out of 10. Move ring with my steps doesn't always close. I'd have to get, I think around 80, 200 steps for it to close. And then the exercise ring only closes like you, and it's only 30, like, you can't change that. It's standard 30 minutes. I don't understand that quite honestly. But I would always put the exercise ring when I do my Leslie Sanso with the, with the glam squad. And it calculates, it's usually 20, 22 minutes. And then I would put it on when I would take the dog for a walk. Because if you don't know my dog, he's a little energizer bunny and he, literally, and he's very energetic when he walks. Um, he loves to he loves to go on those walks. He doesn't walk far, like he would never go more than a mile. He would barely even go to a mile. It's funny. He loves to walk, but yeah, not long. He can only do, and he walks every day. And that's the funny thing. He walks every day and mile at the most he would do. He can never do anything more than a mile. He would just, he's just, yeah, I'm too tired. He wouldn't do it. But we take him, and now he's injured, we don't really take him that far anymore. Not that we took him a mile, but it would wind up being 0.50 a half a mile on my watch so I would put the exercise for outdoor walk never recorded it my steps would get count but my the little exercise dude wouldn't move I don't get I don't understand and I didn't understand so somebody said well because you're I guess your heart rate's not going up uh, yeah, I don't know what that means I mean I know I know what that means but I don't understand why I didn't so but somebody told me well, when you do that, put on other, not outdoor walk. So I put my little thing on other. And you know, it, it calculates it, it gets it in and I close my ring. Not that I, like I said, I'm not ring closed obsessed, but it's like, it's, I'm doing this little extra activity. So now when I'm doing yard duty at school, I put other on, I close my ring at recess duty. Am I doing anything hardcore? No, not anything more than I've done any other day. But yet, it closes that ring. So to me, I think that that's bogus then. If that other could close, I just, I find that, see I don't live and breathe and die by my rings. I don't really care if they close or they don't because really, what am I proving to myself? Nothing. But the fact is that it's interesting that I do the same activity, just change it in the thing and all of a sudden it's like, it, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it, I don't understand it. So yeah. So anytime you want to do anything, you put in another and your ring will close. So basically those rings mean nothing, nothing. So that's a big load off of, you know, that was my PSA for today. I'm like, oh, really? Cause it was kind of, that was usually the only ring that never closed. It just didn't. And again, I wasn't going to sit there and do another video to make it, uh, you know, I ain't got time for that. I am not going to sit there and work. What is that? You know, ooh, I closed all three rings, big whoop. I closed all three rings all last week. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just more of a, yeah, and I'm not more, I don't live in my head. I live in the real world. So I know what the reality is. I don't need that to justify anything that I do. But some people do. And that's how they, that's how they function. Justification. Justification. I should do that Justin Timberlake song. Justify. Uh, but yeah, like some people feel justified in the way that they eat and the way that they don't eat. Some people won't eat red meat. They only eat chicken and turkey. I it's I always feel it's your decision what food you eat. But just realize that you have to live your, you have to live your life. It's not a temporary fix. It's not. So if you're ready to make permanent lifestyle changes and never eat red meat, then, you know, then 
go for it. But I know I live in the real world. I live, there's gonna be ketchup in my world. <sighs> gonna be red meat, gonna be some 80, 20 red meat, some 75, 30, 70, 30 sometimes, because sometimes it's all you can get. When we were in the midst of this, I don't wanna say the word, P, but I can only get 70, 30. So A, did I not buy it? Oh no, I bought it because you just have to fit it in, eat less, or suck up the points for it. Are you really going to have a bad week if you had a 70-30 burger versus an AB 85-15 or 90-10? And quite honestly, it's probably the best damn burger I've ever had. Something to be said for a little bit of fat. Well, a lot of fat in your burger. That's really good stuff. You know, that's what I had in my portobello bun. Oh my god. I love the Portobello bun. Uh, I mean, you could, I was saving points, but man, oh, I even had bacon on it that night. That was just the best thing I've ever eaten. It was good. But yeah, like I said, like I tried to, somebody said to me, do you make videos for your followers? Or do you make videos, like the type of food that I make? I should say, the type of food that I make, I'm making it for my followers or am I making it for myself? I make it for myself. I don't make food on here to please people. I make food here that I want to eat. And if it resonates with you, that's wonderful. Because somebody said they wanted me to make, I made a corn muffin in a mug yesterday. So amazing. Oh my, I didn't think it'd be that good. Honestly, I will say that. I did not think it would be that good. I thought it'd be okay. And you know, sometimes with corn muffins are always a little bit dry and you know, this muffin was outstanding. Oh. And <laughs> can you make a blueberry muffin? I don't like blueberry. I said, I really don't like blueberry. So could I make it to just, to, to satisfy people? I could, but that's not my channel. I'm not here to, I'm here just to show you the food that I eat. And if you want to make it, you most certainly can. And guess what? You could tweak anything and, and you could like, you know, so I said, well, I'll do a chocolate chip someday. And then you could put the blueberries instead. Because she couldn't believe I didn't like blueberries. I'm like, I don't. I don't even like them a little bit. I like them even less. I mean, I could tolerate. I mean, I should say tolerate because I probably wouldn't even tolerate them. But if I had to eat a fruit salad that was fresh blueberries in it, I could swallow them. But when you cook them in a muffin, they get all, ew, yeah, no, not doing that. That kind of makes, the thought of it actually literally makes me want to hurl in the car. I know. But that's like I said, it's my taste. It's not your taste. You love blueberries. By Jove, you make them. I always say, like, everybody's different. Don't put everybody in a cookie cutter mold, you know? It's just, we all like what we like. We all eat what we eat. And we all justify what we want to justify. Always remember that one. That one's huge. You can justify anything you want. Make it sound great. But yeah, my weigh-in video will not go up till the weekend, only because everybody's used to me posting it on Saturday. I'm still gonna get weighed on Monday. You just won't know about it till Saturday. Just easier that way. Cause oh, I, I how many times I get? Did you do a weigh-in video? Did you get weighed? I don't. It's I've been doing it probably that way for a couple of years now. So you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I just have to just film it then. It's just easy. I, sh I actually could probably just film it and save it for Saturday, but. I've just been busy. I don't have time. I don't, honestly. So it will be back to Saturday morning upload for my weigh-in video. So just in case. I think maybe. I think people like it on this. It's going to sound horrible. I'm not going to say it anyway. Because I'm, I'm nothing else. I'm honest. Um, people like it on Saturday because they've seen everybody else's. And they ah, we want to see D. But I compare all the other ones to like, you know. I have to admit mine are a little bit different than most people's. I think my take on the topic is a little bit different than most people's. Again, I am not sugarcoating that topic. I am not making it all fun and daisies and wonderfulness. Yeah, I gave you the nitty gritty of that topic. I gave you the, the ugly of that topic because guess what? You all have the sunshine and roses. You need to hear the gritty, disgusting part. And sometimes it's gritty and disgusting. You know, it's a journey. It's a hard journey. And sometimes it's not very nice. But I'm here at work. I thank you for joining me today. I am going to pull into my, thank God my parking space is open today. It wasn't open yesterday. 
I have arrived. Have a great rest of your day. If you haven't already subscribed after this hot mess of a vlog, I would love you to have a part of my Tish with D team. I have a Facebook group down below. Join us. I am live tonight, 7.30 Eastern time. Join me for the best tea with D you've ever had. <laughs> like that's the only tea with D we've ever had. But have a great day. I will talk tomorrow. Oh, I am cold. Have a nice day. Night, evening, whatever.